Superstition, we've all heard the word, but what does it really mean? How do we define it in our everyday lives? In simple terms, a superstition is an irrational belief. It's the idea that certain actions or objects can influence our fate, even when there's no logical connection. Think about it, walking under a ladder is just bad luck, right? Or is it? Why do we think this way? Superstitions are often based on fear or the desire for good luck. They can be deeply ingrained in our culture and personal experiences. They offer a sense of control in an uncertain world. When life feels unpredictable, superstitions can provide comfort. While superstitions can be harmless, they can also sometimes lead to irrational behavior or even harm. It's important to recognize when they cross the line. Understanding their origins and impact is crucial in navigating our complex world. By learning more about superstitions, we can better understand human behavior and the ways we seek to make sense of the unknown. Superstitions are everywhere. We encounter them daily, often without even realizing it. Consider the fear of Friday the 13th. It's a day shrouded in superstition, with many people avoiding travel or important decisions. But why? Then there's the belief in lucky numbers. Seven is a popular choice, often associated with good fortune. People might choose lottery numbers or even make life decisions based on this belief. From black cats to broken mirrors, these beliefs permeate our lives in subtle and not so subtle ways. Why do people still believe in superstitions? It's a question that has puzzled thinkers for centuries. After all, we live in an age of science and reason. Yet superstitions persist, often passed down through generations like cherished family heirlooms. The answer lies in the human psyche. We crave certainty in an uncertain world. Superstitions offer a sense of control, a way to make sense of the unknown. They provide comfort and reassurance in the face of life's unpredictability. Indeed, the history of superstitions shows just how deeply ingrained these beliefs are in human culture, spanning continents and millennia. Section 5. The Psychology of Superstition To understand superstition, we must delve into the human mind. Psychologically, superstitions stem from our need for control and security. When we face situations with uncertain outcomes, we seek ways to influence the odds in our favor. Consider the athlete who wears the same socks for every game. Logically, the socks have no bearing on their performance, yet the ritual provides a sense of control, a belief that they are somehow influencing the outcome. This psychological need for control underpins many superstitious beliefs. Section 6. Superstition and Society Superstitions are not merely individual quirks, they are deeply intertwined with society and culture. Cultural heritage plays a significant role in shaping and perpetuating these beliefs. What is considered superstitious in one culture might be a deeply held belief in another. Family traditions and social norms also contribute to the persistence of superstitions. Children often learn these beliefs from their parents and grandparents, passing them down through generations. These shared beliefs can create a sense of community and belonging. Section 7. The Purpose of Superstitions While often viewed as irrational, superstitions serve several psychological and social functions. They can provide a framework for understanding random events, offering explanations for the unexplainable. When faced with misfortune, superstitions can provide a sense of control, attributing the event to external forces rather than pure chance. Moreover, superstitions can foster social bonding. Sharing these beliefs with others creates a sense of shared experience and strengthens social connections. Whether it's avoiding black cats together or wishing each other luck, these rituals reinforce social bonds. Section 8. Psychological Impacts in the Modern World In today's world, superstitions continue to exert a psychological influence, both positive and negative. On the positive side, they can provide comfort and reassurance, reducing anxiety in stressful situations. A student taking an important exam might find solace in carrying a lucky charm, boosting their confidence. However, superstitions can also have negative consequences. Extreme beliefs can lead to irrational behavior, such as avoiding important decisions or making life choices based on unfounded fears. This can hinder personal growth and limit opportunities. Section 9. Social Implications in the Present Day Superstitions also have social implications in the modern world. They can influence decision-making, sometimes leading to poor judgments based on unfounded beliefs. 
For example, a business person might make a risky investment based on a superstition, ignoring sound financial advice. Furthermore, superstitions can hinder scientific thought and critical thinking. By attributing events to supernatural forces, individuals might be less inclined to seek rational explanations or engage in scientific inquiry. This can stifle intellectual curiosity and impede progress. Section 10, the economics of superstition. Believe it or not, superstitions also have economic impacts. Industries cater to these beliefs, offering products and services designed to bring luck or ward off evil. From lucky charms and amulets to fortune tellers and psychics, the market for superstition-related goods and services is vast. This economic activity highlights the enduring power of these beliefs. People are willing to spend money on products and services that promise to influence their fate, even in the absence of scientific evidence. Section 11. The Science, or Lack Thereof, of Superstition From a scientific standpoint, examining superstitions poses significant challenges. By their very nature, these beliefs are based on subjective experiences and anecdotal evidence, making them difficult to study empirically. Controlled experiments are challenging to design, as isolating the variables and controlling for biases is nearly impossible. Despite these difficulties, some researchers are exploring the psychological and neurological underpinnings of superstitious behavior. Neuroimaging studies, for example, are beginning to shed light on the brain regions involved in these beliefs. Section 12. A Critical Look at Superstitions While often harmless, it's essential to approach superstitions with a critical eye. Blindly accepting these beliefs without questioning their validity can lead to irrational behavior and hinder personal growth. Relying on superstitions to make important decisions can have negative consequences, both for individuals and society as a whole. Moreover, some superstitions can be harmful, perpetuating prejudice and discrimination. For example, beliefs about certain ethnicities or cultures bringing bad luck can lead to intolerance and social division. It's crucial to recognize and challenge these harmful aspects. Section 13, Conclusion, Superstition, and the Human Experience. Superstitions are an integral part of the human experience, woven into the fabric of our daily lives and cultural practices. They reflect our deepest fears, desires, and our need to make sense of the world around us. From avoiding black cats to carrying lucky charms, these beliefs offer a way to cope with uncertainty. While often viewed as irrational, they serve important psychological and social functions, providing comfort, control, and a sense of community. Superstitions can bring people together, creating shared rituals and traditions that strengthen social bonds. However, it's crucial to approach superstitions with a critical and discerning mind. Understanding the origins and reasons behind these beliefs can help us appreciate their role without falling prey to their potential downsides. Blind faith in these beliefs can hinder personal growth, impede scientific progress, and even lead to harmful consequences. It's important to balance respect for cultural traditions with a healthy dose of skepticism. By embracing critical thinking and seeking rational explanations, we can navigate the world with greater understanding and wisdom. This approach allows us to honor our cultural heritage while fostering a more enlightened and informed perspective on the world around us. Section 14. Embrace critical thinking, reject superstition. In an age of information and scientific advancement, it's more important than ever to embrace critical thinking and challenge unfounded beliefs. Critical thinking allows us to analyze information, question assumptions and make decisions based on evidence and logic. While superstitions might provide comfort, relying on them blindly can lead us astray. Superstitions often stem from fear and a lack of understanding, and they can prevent us from seeing the world as it truly is. By questioning these beliefs, Seeking evidence and embracing rational thought, we empower ourselves to make informed decisions and live more fulfilling lives. Engaging in discussions, analyzing data, and continuously learning are key components of this process. Let us move forward, not with blind faith and superstition, but with a commitment to reason, evidence, and the pursuit of knowledge. Breaking free from the chains of superstition allows us to walk confidently into the future. Only then can we unlock our true potential and create a brighter future for ourselves and generations to come. By fostering a culture of critical thinking and scientific inquiry, we pave the way for innovation, progress, and a more enlightened society.